How's it going everyone? Today we're taking a look at the Pinephone keyboard. I have already unboxed it and as you can see the hardware of the device is quite hefty. It adds a lot of thickness and it is a full-fledged keyboard. It's not like your regular QWERTY keyboard like on the Titan Pocket. As you see here the Titan Pocket has a very small keyboard operational essentially with one hand. Uh, so we will see like let's go to a message and you know if I want to create something uh, it will be very easy to kind of type, right? Uh, but with the Pinephone keyboard, which is a little bit of a comparison, it's more of a full keyboard layout and it does have a lot of the extra functionality. It does work only on some operating systems. It doesn't work on all operating systems, but the clicks are very satisfying in my opinion. So I'm going to do a little test just right here, right? Um, a little message, let's just go over here. We're going to go to new message and I can just go, hello, my name is, and you can use the shift key, Jose, and it will capitalize automatically. So, which is, I mean, again, essentially a full fledged operating system. I'm running Manjaro on this and it's pretty fast, very responsive. So if you're trying to use more productivity devices, just one device or something like that, I definitely see this as an option. I mean, the Pinephone, I have the original version. I don't have the most advanced version, the Pinephone Pro. It, it works really well for the basics. So the phone does have 2G as you see, uh, probably maybe you can see it here on this side. Uh, it does not have 4G LTE on most carriers. I know that I haven't configured it properly all the way. So it probably there is a way to get 4G LTE, at least on the T-Mobile network. I believe that it also works with, also works with Verizon. Uh, and well, again, I'm not fully invested into this device, so I haven't been able to check it out, but I kind of wanted to provide a little bit of a review, uh, first look to the device. Uh, you don't have to install anything except a compatible operating system. And in order to do that, there's a couple of videos that I can link below. And I believe post market OS, and also Manjaro are compatible. This is kind of like just a short video just for you to see, like it's quite a thick device. It feels like a Nintendo 3DS or a 2DS, but it does add a couple of extra functionality. On top of the keyboard, it does have a 6,000 milliamp hour battery that can charge the Pine Phone. And I personally think that that's actually a good thing, right? Let's say that your Pine Phone is going low on battery for the day. You have a battery pack and also a keyboard that can function. As you see, it's quite big when you put it in comparison with the Titan Pocket, which is more of like a BlackBerry competitor or something like that. I do have a review on this device if you want to check it out. I'll put it on the card above. But I'm really excited about the possibilities. So let's say that you're trying to replace your full computing operating system, something like that. I think maybe the Pinephone Pro, maybe not the Pinephone, the regular one. I do notice some lagginess here and there on this device from time to time. But with the keyboard, you know, extra functionality, extra battery life, maybe some things will be able to work better. As you saw there, Firefox did not even open, it closed. So I don't know if it's kind of like just, again, general lagginess of the operating system or how it works. Oh, there it is, it opened again. Let's gonna try to go to The Verge. It works in pretty much every screen that I've tried it. So I haven't had any issues and the keys are very sticky. They're not sticky like in a bad way, but they're very good at getting what you need, getting the connectivity that you need, et cetera, et cetera. I think it's not gonna pull anything because of my broadband connectivity. I haven't configured the APN, uh, but let me log in into the Wi-Fi and see if that works. So after I've connected with my Wi-Fi, we're going to open a page and see how this works, but essentially works really well, very decent operating system for Manjaro. I think, of course, there are some optimizations and the Pinephone Pro will probably so serve you better than just the regular Pinephone because of the more RAM and better processor, better battery, better components, better everything essentially. But if you're looking for kind of like a replacement for your computing device, definitely consider this as an option. I think my server is not going to do very well here. Uh, I don't know why, but, oh, there it is. I don't know why, but the Verge didn't load it. No, not a secure connection access. I don't know why. 
let's look it up on Google. Maybe that works. The Verge right there after connecting to Wi-Fi. And it's pretty fast, pretty snappy, honestly. Again, it's not going to be a full replacement, but it can be an on-the-go replacement for your computing needs because it's running a full operating system instead of a mobile operating system. So again, full Manjaro running here, and you're able to, to kind of get it in there. I probably put something wrong in the previous one, but there you go. You can see the Verge and its full glory. And this is, again, pretty much big Firefox. It's not a mobile version as far as I can tell. And that's of course gonna be pretty intensive on the battery. I can tell right there, it's about 8%. It was about 12% in a couple of minutes ago, maybe like two, three minutes. So it's gonna be very intensive. So maybe that extra 6,000 on, um, on the unit right here for the keyboard is going to be really helpful. But just want to provide a little bit of a review, kind of like first look into this device. I'm going to continue testing. And if you have any questions, make sure to put it in the comments and description below. Again, only operating system that this work is Manjaro Post Market and one that I'm not really familiar with. But you can look it up in the links below or in the wiki for the Pine64 project. Um, again, if you have any questions about this device or any of the other devices, make sure to put it in the comments below and I'll be interacting with you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.